Hello, my name is Michael Prom, Applications Engineer for Applied Engineering. This video is a second video in a series that's going to show off the What's New Plastic Part Functionality in Inventor 2010. So you can see here I have the printer and I'm going to reuse the base that I created in the first session. And what I'm going to do now is come in and utilize the new plastic part tools in Inventor 2010 to build up this plaster part design. So I'm going to start off by showing a sketch that I created to make a rest and I'm going to come in and use the rest tool in order to uh, create a base here to bolt something onto. Now the key thing with this rest tool is that it knows that it's a plaster part and it keeps that in mind so that when it creates this part it actually keeps that even thickness through the whole part instead of adding a solid chunk on the bottom there. And I can actually come in and uh, make changes to my dimensions just like I would with any other extrude or Autodesk Inventor um, tool. Now once I have my rest created, I'm going to use another tool here uh, focusing on the, the boss. And this is going to allow me to uh, make some points for some screw attachments. You can see here I have a couple different options. Uh, I'm just going to add a fillet to end here and uh, turn this to an actual thread. Um, you can see I have different options with my threads here, and I can actually come in and add some snifters as well. So this is going to just uh, make it a little more rigid, allowing it to not break off when I'm attaching other components to this. Now with my bosses inserted, uh, my next step is to actually uh, insert a grill on the back here just for a little bit of ventilation. And uh, instead of re uh, re creating this sketch, I'm just going to do this from scratch. So I'm just going to simply create a, a sketch, um, create a plane on the back there to project this off of. And um, with the sketch, uh, to keep in mind, the first thing I'm going to do is just uh, create a, a simple boundary. So I'm just going to use a rectangle here and uh, create a boundary for my, my vent. Now, once I have my vent created, or my boundary for my vent created, I'm just going to come in and actually add some ribs. Um, keep in mind, when we do grills, a lot of times people like islands. So I'm going to put an island in here as well with a, just a simple circle. And uh, I'm going to add some spars in here as well. So I'm just going to kind of build this up, uh, get it close to what I think it's going to look like. Not going to add any dimensions. A uh, key thing here is showing off the new tool and functionality that we have available with the grill feature with the plastic part design. Just add a couple more here and finish up my sketch. Now with this sketch completed, I'm just going to come in and use my grill tool. And this grill tool is actually going to ask for all the features that I just talked about as I created the sketch. So it's going to prompt me for my boundary. And uh, you can see I have options there for the thickness and gaps. Uh, also my island. And then once I have my island done, I can put in my ribs. And then finish up with some spars. Now with all these selected, what this is going to be able to do is you can see the build up and this is something I, I could have done with Inventor 2009 but this will have taken me quite a bit more time because I've had to come back in with thickness and then remove the parts. You can see when I select OK it's actually going to not only did it build up the spar, the islands and my ribs but then it's going to actually remove the material that was not needed. So you can see I have a nice little vent pattern on the back there. Now another feature that I'm going to take a look at is just uh, adding a lip. And the one nice thing I really like about this, this new tool, adding a lip, is the functionality you can see here once I select my surface that the profile automatically inserts. And I can actually come and drag this profile. And on top of that, I can actually uh, drag my angles here. Um, and before I'm actually done, I can then go back in and type in correct numbers for these angles I dragged. But it gives me the capabilities of just getting it close and then going and finishing up with the dimensions. So you can see I've created a lip here uh, to insert another component into. Um, there's also some new rules-based fillet options. And then there's a new snap fit option as well. Now, the one last thing I want to do to show off before I finish is uh, there's some new inspect tools. And uh, here I can actually just view the draft um, of this to make sure this part is actually going to be capable of being manufactured. 